Incredible Designs in the City of Brockville present the 2017 Brockville Home Show April 28th and 29th at the Memorial Center. There will be more local trades and professionals at the show with great services offered in the design, build, buy and renovate professions to the local Leeds and Grenville community. There will also be guest speakers, live events, a charity chicken barbecue and much more. The 2017 Brockville Home Show, Friday April 28th and Saturday April 29th at the Brockville Memorial Center. For more information, please visit BrockvilleHomeShow.ca. Sponsored in part by DCE Media Productions and Hometown TV 12. The Brockville Police Service launched on February 28th a new after-school pilot program for city youth. The new program is a partnership between Stinger's Paintball Center and the Brothel Police Service and is a result of a Dare to Dream grant from the Ontario Center of Excellence for Child and Youth Mental Health. We sort of recognized that there was a need, a gap in the Brothel area to uh, have youth uh, more positively engaged in the after school period. Uh, so we uh, explored some grant opportunities. We were very fortunate enough to get a grant from uh, the uh, Dare to Dream uh, Foundation through the Ontario Center for Excellence, uh, focusing around children's mental health and youth mental health. Um, so basically it's an opportunity where youth uh, grades uh, 7 to 12 can kind of drop in, uh, have access to supportive adults, lots of fun sports as you can probably see some stuff going behind me, uh, Zorball, dodgeball, baseball, batting cages, you know, all that fun stuff, laser tag, uh, grab a free healthy snack, get some homework help, access to some guest speakers, and mostly just have that safe inclusive space to be in the after school period. We have uh, funding to go to the end of uh, June, so the end of the school year, and we're going to be collecting some stats throughout the registration, um, as well as the volunteers that are in the program, uh, doing a lot of feedback and also hearing what the community has to say, community partners, uh, and kind of kind of gauging that sort of uh, interest level and sort of with the kind of sort of um, ripple effect it has in the community. If there's any sort of um, community impact that we can measure within that short period, um, obviously that includes that there's some stipulations in the grant that want to see some hard data, but that'll really allow us to kind of look at future granting po possibilities and also um, buy in and further support from the community in general. Investing in youth is important, right, for any sort of community to be successful and to thrive, right? So. Uh, opportunities like this to really allow youth to be engaged in a safe, supportive environment is uh, foundations for uh, great uh, future success of a community. So I think it's, I'm pretty jazzed that we have this, you know, starting out in Brockville and I'm really happy to be part of it. For Hometown TV 12 News, Dale Elliott in Brockville.